Hey guys, it's X Dragon Force 101, and welcome to another episode of X Dragon Force 101 Tech. This week, we're going to be going into the world of Android ROMs, and we're going to be installing Android Ice Cream Sandwich on our HTC Desire S. Um, this guy will also work for other ROMs, um, other sorry, other devices that it's been compiled for. I'm also sure how to get themes like Go Launcher if you do not have a device that can support ROMs or stuff like that. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to get Ice Cream Sandwich installed on our HD Desire S um, at the moment. So um, I've provided a link here, Ice Cream Sandwich for Desire S, the link will be in the description. Um, currently, this ROM is amazing so far. Um, it's Beta 8 at the moment, and everything works. Every single thing works apart from the camera, which is quite useless because, well, the camera is one of the best features of Ice Cream Sandwiches. It's been improved a lot. So, Beta R4A here. Just going to download that from multi upload. Um, and then it's 147 megabytes, so make sure you're on Wi Fi and then download that. Then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy it to your phone. Just plug in a cable and just copy it over as you normally would with a USB. Okay, so now that you've copied your ROM to your SD card, you're going to have to um, root your phone. Now, if you haven't already rooted your phone, um, for the HTC Desire S, I have a video on that, it's in the description. It also works for, I think it's HTC Flyer, Wildfire, Wildfire S, and all those, and all those new phones that for HTC. Um, and if not, um, go to um, XD Developers and search for your device and look in the general section for a thing on how to root. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to go into the market and you want to search for an app called, oops, <laughs> want to search for um, an app called ROM Manager. After you've, um, after you've downloaded that, you're just going to tap on our manager. And then you're going to do install ROM from SD card. Now you're going to scroll down to the bottom, and that's where all the zips are. And you're going to choose your ROM, the Saga Test 103 or 114 or whatever the newest one will be by the time this comes up. So you're just going to tap on that, and you're going to, if you want to, Back up your config, your existing configuration. That's some um, keep what you've got at the moment and keep it backed up. I'd recommend doing that. I'm not going to because I've always, I do this all the time. So just wipe data and cache, and wipe Davlet cache, and make your backup existing wrong is either check is checked if you want to keep this current ROM that you've got, and not checked if you just want to overwrite it. So if you're already, just hit OK. Oh, OK. <laughs> hit OK again, and it should be put into Clockwork Mode Recovery and start flashing your ROM. Um, I just make sure the HTC even pops up to see if this is going to work. There we go, and it will boot into recovery and do that. So, once that's all done, um, I will come back and show you the rest. Okay, now that that's done, your phone should now reboot into this lovely ice cream sandwich boot screen. Um, it will take up to five minutes for the first boot to go. But after that, you'll get into the installation. So, we'll just see. Okay, now your phone is booted into the welcome home screen for Ice Cream Sandwich. What you're going to do is you're just going to choose your country. Um, I'm in the United Kingdom, so that's what I'll select. Maybe we'll scroll. It's being pretty slow. There we are, English United Kingdom. And hit start. Um, choose um, all my date and time if you have a SIM card. If not, then just you know choose. Oops. All my date and time. And hit next. Um, and then hit sign in. Turn your Wi-Fi on, and then you just choose your Wi-Fi network from the list of stuff. Sorry, can't let you see this. As always. And it should say it'll connect to your Wi-Fi network and then you can just move on to the next step. Which is gathering your information about your phone. It shouldn't take too long. So I'm just gonna sign in with my Google credentials. Sorry, but phone, put it here. See so now everyone's happy. So it's just your Google email address. You, you you know use for Gmail and stuff. I'm sure you know this. I don't know why I'm telling you it. Come, and then no looksies for the password. 
Sending in shouldn't, it says take a few minutes, but it doesn't take longer than 30 seconds for me, even if you don't have a good Wi-Fi connection. So, um, keep this phone backed up with my Google account. Hit next. Um, Google's fine with collecting anonymous results. Um, put your name on the phone, and then you're done. I will open up this lovely ice cream sandwich sort of home screen thing. Um, hit OK. Um, at the, all you have on the home screen to start off with is just this little dot clock. Pretty cool. Um, if you had titanium backup before on your phone, then um, you can just restore apps. If not, just go into the market and you can get um, get the same ones. Um, yeah, and that's about it, really. Um, some of the new features in Ice Cream Sandwich, everything's quite sweet for going along. Oh yeah, because I backed up all my contacts are still here. In fact, no, they're not. Never mind, I'll get them back later. Um, it, the, everything's evolved in swiping. Apps that are open, you swipe them away to close them. Um, but hold the home button twice and that'll pop up. Um, sliding down, notification center. If you've got a notification, you can swipe it out. Quick access to settings and everything. Oh, and if you want to turn off your data, you go into data usage and then turn off that. And you can set a limit for how much how much Wi-Fi you have. That's a car alarm going outside, that's not good. And then you just, you, can, you got, this is built in, you usually had to get a third party app for this, and now you can just set it directly from the phone. Which is very good. Let's see, 300 megabytes of data I get. But never mind, I can find that later. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's about it. It comes with a built in browser. The browser is brilliant. It's, um, Automatic sign-on is great, sends you into every site owned by Google instantly before you even get to them. And you've got tabs like this, add new tab, bookmarks, and things like that. Yep, and that's it. Everything works in this except the camera, as I said before, there's not even a camera APK installed. Uh, it's left out, left out, sorry, and um, yeah, pre-rooted as always. So that's about it. Thanks for watching my video guys. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe and go and support the ROM developer for this. Right, thanks for watching.